Hey there, my name's Lucy and this is my husband Lahiri. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of our India series. Join us as we are visiting one of the most famous buildings in the world, the Taj Mahal. We also get robbed by an ATM and harassed by so many people and we're definitely left feeling very overwhelmed. You like? Pardon? You like? I like. I like. Oh, gross. Me, you're still... It's not going very well for us in India, to be honest. Good morning everyone from Agra. I'd like to say that we're up nice and early this morning going to the Taj Mahal. But, but in fact, but in fact, it's nearly nine o'clock. We had a little bit of a lion this morning because our train didn't get in until like two o'clock this morning because there, because there was over a nine hour delay on our train. So it has delayed us quite a lot, but we're persevering. We're up out of bed, even though we'd still like to be in bed and we're heading to the Taj Mahal. Not for the time that we'd like to be going there, but I think it will still be nice at this time. Let's see. Last time I came to the Taj Mahal, I got up super, super early. I walked there in the dark and it was still really busy. So I think any time you go in the day, it's going to be busy. These people are really annoying. Are you excited to see the Taj Mahal? Yeah, really, really happy. Okay, we're in. We made it. Almost. <laughs> There's massive monkeys around here, which we've been trying to avoid. And also trying to avoid all the scammers that are trying to get you to go into their shop or be your tour guide or take you in their tuk-tuk. Oh, it's just nice to be in this area and it's peaceful and everyone's here just to witness the beauty of the Taj Mahal. And I'm so excited to see Lahiri's first impression. Yeah. Ah, this is why we're here. It's because of him, not because of me. <laughs> no, no, thank you. What was I saying? This is a lot of people. <laughs> Amazing, huh? Even this building is so beautiful too. Okay, how does it feel to be here? Mm, really nice. Yeah? Is it kind of like unreal that you're here? Yeah, unreal. And of course the Taj Mahal is super super busy, there's so many people here but from what I can remember from four years ago when I visited here for the first time it was also really really busy early in the morning so I think anytime you come it's gonna be super busy because it's the Taj Mahal and that's absolutely fine. I actually really like it with all these people around because everyone's wearing different colours and it just makes it look even more vibrant and alive and everyone stays on this middle area we've just come off down the side just to like see around the gardens and watch the squirrels which are really funny and i was just saying to rue it's kind of good how everything's planned out for today because we can't actually get our train ticket today to go to where we wanted to go to next instead tomorrow which means we're having to have a relaxed kind of day which is good it's much needed Here are some facts you may find interesting about this splendid building. The Taj Mahal was built by a Mughal emperor in memory of his third wife after her death. They now both lie in tombs in the center of the mausoleum. It took 22 years to construct and is counted as one of the seven wonders of the world. The Taj Mahal changes its color three times a day depending on the light and the time and this UNESCO World Heritage Site attracts between seven to eight million visitors each year. We've just 
just been inside the main mausoleum but obviously can't take any photography or videography in there because it's prohibited but it's so beautiful it's just a chance to take it in and see all the magnificent architecture it's absolutely incredible i'm so grateful to be here for a second time how do you think yeah very very beautiful yeah it's so beautiful my favorite place oh really wow our home not your favorite place yeah my country is very country this island anyway the details are just immense like look at this you you can't take it in from the camera you have to come here yourself to see it in person just absolutely unbelievable i'm so happy and lucky to be here i'm lucky to be here with my guy just looking fridge magnet 20 rupees just looking sir just make it up 20 rupees your magnet just look it just one minute 20 rupees your magnet literally as soon as you step outside the taj mahal you're like hassled by all these people it's not very pleasant we want to enjoy the surrounding area so i hope Everyone will leave us alone <laughs> and we can just take our time looking around this beautiful city. I like how all the buildings are different colours, different designs. So we came out of the south gate, out of the Taj Mahal and it was absolutely crazy. We got absolutely swarmed by so many people trying to sell us their fridge magnets and try to get us in their tuk tuk to go somewhere else. We came out the south gate because I saw that there's a vegetarian restaurant in Google Maps. So we come here, there's a rooftop, so we get to overlook the busy street below and we have a slight glimpse of the Taj Mahal. But this is a really good place to just decompress from all that crazy mayhem and have a coffee, we've ordered some food and just sit here for a while and figure out our next step. <laughs> Give me the food. We hopped in a tuk-tuk to see the Taj Mahal from the sunset viewpoint but weren't expecting our driver to be so full on. Best friend? Oh, well, I don't know about friends. I hardly know you. <laughs> Best friend? Best friends? Best friend. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe just friends, not best friends. <laughs> no girlfriend, no boyfriend. Only best friend. Ah. Oh. <laughs> no girlfriend, best friend. Best friend. Ah, oh, okay. I don't understand. You like? Pardon? You like? I like? I like. Oh, Christ. Yeah. So best friend in India and no problem. Ah. So best friend. Oh, best friend. You like? You swimming? Swimming? Oh. <laughs> you jumping? You swimming? Ah, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. 130 is it? Uh, back to oh. my tuk-tuk. Yeah, back I'll call you when we're ready. No waiting? No, it's okay. I don't know, maybe one hour, no, maybe two no hours. Tuk -tuk. Any no it's problem. Okay. One hour, two hour, half well, hour. Well, you anything. can go and do your business and we call you when you're ready so you don't lose money. Yeah. You go keep working, I give you a call. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. I have your number. Yeah. Thank you so much. We're not getting back in this tuk-tuk. Hi, Bibi. Hello, you're so cute. Okay, we've just made it to the Taj Mahal sunset viewpoint. We've just come a little bit late to go into the gardens, but we're just walking down the road to see the Taj Mahal in its glory at sunset. Not sure how good the sunset will be today because it's super smoggy here. But I'm just happy to be here. That Uber ride we were just in, we actually got Uber the first time we've done Uber in India. And that guy was, I don't know, he's, he was another level. He made so me feel, gnarly. yeah, he made me feel so uncomfortable. Actually, I don't think you understood what he was saying, but he was saying, I like you, be my girlfriend. I was like, no. <laughs> so yeah, very inappropriate. And I just wasn't comfortable with him. And he was saying that he wants to wait for us. Mm. I don't want to get back in his tuk-tuk. Like, no, definitely not. I'd rather walk. But anyway, let's just forget that bit happened and enjoy the sunset. Overlooking the most beautiful, one of the most beautiful buildings in the world. This is so beautiful and it's actually changed since I came here last, which was four years ago now I visited this area and there wasn't a ticket counter here or the fence and it wasn't paved, it was just sand and really dirty and lots of rubbish everywhere. But now it's super beautiful. It's a really nice place to come. Look. 
There she is. <laughs> over the Taj Mahal not that it was really a sunset but it's still very very beautiful there's so many birds around here they're all in the trees I'm sure you can hear them <laughs> oh they're very loud <laughs> we're now heading back to where all the rickshaws the tuk-tuks are and I'm really hoping that we find someone else that's not our previous tuk-tuk driver <laughs> to take us back to the town because um I would do anything to not go in a tuk-tuk with that same guy. Like, I've not felt scared since being in India, but that guy made me feel quite scared and uncomfortable. And I know you felt it too, because we were both looking at each other in the tuk-tuk like, oh my god, this guy is crazy. If anything happens, you have to speak up and say, stop now. Help us. Maybe we can switch the lights off. Up. Yeah, it's very bright. Yeah, that's better. Thank you. Oh, ah, yes, you need that one. And it off. And of course, we were in for yet another uncomfortable tuk-tuk ride. We were told by many to only use Uber as it's the safest option of getting around and for the most part, over half of the tuk-tuk drivers we booked through Uber whilst in India were still trying to scam us, trying to get us to cancel the booking on Uber and give them more money or accepting our ride request and not turning up at all. And when they're trying to be your friend or your best friend but talk way too much about money, money no problem, you know something's not right, and turned out it wouldn't be when we finished our ride. You going to market? Now, we go back to where you picked us up from. Yeah? The same area we came from. You which hotel name? The same area you picked us up. Same area? Yes, please. Yeah. Any no problem? Oh, no. Any no problem? Oh. I'm dead. And no problem, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, we just go back to the same area you picked us up from. Yeah, yeah. You very nice restaurant. No market. No market. No market. Yes. Thank you. No cheap one, very cheap one price. Yes, I don't want to go. I want to go back to where you picked us up from. And no problem, my my to good bed. No charges. Any no problem. Any no problem, friend. Only best friend. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, no. We leaving Agra. Leaving Agra uh, back to Jaipur. We go Jaipur, yes. You. I I took took. I'm drunk. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. You smoking? No. No. No smoking. You wines of beer soap? Yeah, no beer. Huh? No smoking? No. No. You bad. Very good. Good service? It's okay. It's okay? Yeah. You very happy? I'm okay, yeah. Yeah? Same area drop? Yes. Thank you. Problem. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you so much. You just hotel? You just hotel. Oh no, we're just walking around the area. Walking, walking. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. That should be the same as before. Yeah. Okay? 150 like before. Yeah, parking? Sorry, no. You may speak the stuff. No, I didn't ask you to wait, and it, so and it but that's there. fine. Please. Have a good night. You might cause us problems and chase us or something. Yeah. Should we just walk up there a little bit? 
Is he following us? He's turning around now. What? He's turning around. We escaped into a shop and the driver soon gave up following us, so we headed to a nearby restaurant where we could observe the streets from above. Okay, this morning we just got an Uber to Agrifor. I, I actually can't hear anything, my ears are so bad. And we had a lovely, lovely Uber driver this time. Well, actually this morning we booked another Uber, but then he called us to say how much you pay. And I said, well, the price that's on the Uber app. And he's like, no, 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 you pay this extra. And I was like, no, you're scanning through the Uber app. So we canceled him and got this other guy who was super genuine, super nice. And it's just really, lovely to meet decent genuine people here so obviously when we meet people like that who are decent have a good heart and don't want to scam us then we're gonna like tip them and say thank you for being so welcoming and lovely it was much better than last night no thank you no thank you much better than last night that was an experience in itself anyway we've come to agrifort today I've been here before, but obviously Lahiri hasn't been here, so I want to be able to show him around all these beautiful sites in India. We're trying to cross the road and I don't know where we're going. <laughs> okay, and we're both quite sick today, so if I sound different, that's why Lahiri is really sick today. So we thought we'd just come out just before our train. We have a train today to Jaipur, that's this evening. So let's go and explore Agra Fort. If we can cross the road. Thank you. No thank you. No thank you. No thank you. No thank you. We have just dropped our big bag off at the cloakroom because it's got our laptop and drone and all the like important things that we didn't want to leave at the hostel just for anyone to enter. So we've got our little token here and I really hope we get that back and nothing has been stolen out of the bag whilst we're going into Agrifort. So fingers crossed. And here are some interesting facts about Agra Fort. For the most part, the fort is made from red sandstone, but also showcases a magnificent and marvellous blend of Islamic and Hindu architectural styles. Due to its strategic location, this fort was the symbol of power, strength and resilience back in its days. And even now, 80% of the fort is used by the Indian Army and closed to the public. You don't have to be super into history or architecture to appreciate and be amazed by this place. It's so rich in history and stories that when you're standing there, it's so easy to close your eyes and imagine exactly how things were in those days. We've just had a wonderful time walking around Agrifort. It's really lovely and the temperature is really pleasant. The sun is out. It's in full glory up there. But it's just really nice to walk around. I don't feel like I'm sweating or anything. I do feel like my throat is super dry, whatever we've got. I think it's from all the deli smog. So we're a bit affected. We're gonna go find a cup of tea now and try to just relax a little bit, try to get some more energy and sort out our heads. <laughs> but walking around here was so lovely. I really enjoyed it and I learned more things by coming here the second time, we've just done loads of research online and just learned about the before emperors and what they got up to and their life. It's really interesting. And we've just finished an agri -fort. We're heading to a cafe for some tea or coffee and a bit of food. And we've just got another Uber and it's an electric tuk-tuk. It's our first time coming in an electric tuk-tuk is so cool. We have so many questions and it's amazing and I really love it. <laughs> we should get an electric tuk tuk in Sri Lanka, maybe one day in like 10 years time. We grabbed some lunch and then made our way to the train station. 
but just enjoying this moment here before we get robbed by an ATM. We are back at Agra train station, Agra Kant train station I think it's called and we're getting in the train to Jaipur today, it's delayed by 20 minutes so not too bad but Lehiru just trod in a big pile of cow poo <laughs> so he needs to wash his feet and we're just trying to find our platform, it's platform 4 yes. it's not going very well for us in India to be honest <laughs> And of course, just some goats chilling on the train tracks. The train has arrived and it's only 30 minutes late, so perfect timing. When the trains go past, they always stink, like you can smell the toilet. <laughs> Lovely smell. Thank you. I ended up having to ask the huge family who we were sharing this space with to please kindly respect our area, please stop spilling chai everywhere and please stop throwing peanuts around the place. I fully understand that it was Diwali festival so didn't want to put a downer on their celebrations but my husband by this point was extremely unwell. They ended up moving to their allocated seats, allowing us to have our allocated seats, which meant I could get a bit of work done and the Hiro could get some much needed rest. As we travel to Jaipur, we can see all the beautiful lights hung up for the Diwali celebrations, which brings us on to next week's episode. See you then. Everything because there's so many people harassing tourists here I'm in India. To you. you are, you're just sticking by us. Can you stop? Come on, baby, just play, man. I'm not asking you. I just say because if your friend is coming, you can go. We can go down this side. This is not a hassling, this is not important. This is only suggestion, this is only a warning. Stop now. Okay. okay. If you go, if you need, let me go. Thank you here literally just don't know when to stop they don't understand no and you can say no to people like three four five ten times they still follow you they don't leave you alone we have someone here picking us up because the hotel actually offers a free ho uh, train pickup which is amazing and these people just don't understand no they just don't leave it alone and it's really frustrating and it really makes me like not want to connect with un other Indians who are actually being really genuine. It's not a hassling, it's not important to find food. You're still following us. I'm going to platform one. Go up. We need to go to platform one. Hassling is different. Pushing is different. I'm not. Excuse me, you're still, you're still not leaving us alone. Come on. You come on. Why can't you understand that? 
You're crazy. This guy is insane. Absolutely insane. It's like you want to enjoy traveling in India and you can't because people just harass you all the time. It's just enough. <laughs>